here he comes. Oh, that's not bad. That's a horse. How you like me now? Oh, man, this thing did a serious turnaround on me, man. What a beautiful gill. Hold on a second. Look at that beaut. Fine, fine eating. You got Hey, this is Musky Mott. Did well on the lake today, as you can see. Thought I'd give you a little show on my technique and how to clean bluegills. First thing we're going to do, make sure your knife is clean. We're going to start right here, right here at the base of the ear. I'm going to put that blade in there, cut up in a corner to the head. Now, we're going to use this much of the blade. Cut down the top of the spine until you get about halfway through. Then you can turn that blade and shove her straight through down to about the middle of the lower fin. So it pops out like that, you're on top of the spine. Then you just pull her through the tail. Then just pull up on that free meat right there, put your knife in there slice it once and you see you're right down to the top of the rib cage. At this point in time I just slowly roll my blade up at an angle, separate those ten pin bones to connect the rib cage, get on top of the cage and just slice down till you're through. Putting the knife at an angle, slicing down like this, frees you up and then you just remove the fillet from the bottom. Now you notice there's no rib cage there and the gut bag isn't laying all over your board. To do the other side, we're going to point the head towards us and basically reverse the process, putting the knife in, cornering up to the head, using just this much of the blade, we're going to slice down the top of the rib, top of the, excuse me, the, the spine, and slide her through, so you're right halfway between that dorsal fin there, slice her out, Grab that free meat, lay that blade in there, be careful, pull that towards you, and you're separated all the way to the top of the rib cage. Slowly turn, rolling the blade up, and separate those pin bones, and roll down the, the rib cage in a rolling fashion until you're down to the base. Separate the fillet and repeat the process. Notice the rib cage. Notice the cuts on the head. Notice the undisturbed gut bag. That's my technique. Show you again. Corner to the top. Slice down the spine. Slide that blade through. Pull it out. Slice her down to the top of the rib cage. Roll the knife. Roll right down the rib cage. Well, the skin part is a fairly easy part. Uh, if you've got a partner that you're fishing with and you're both tackling this chore, it's a nice thing to have your partner skin them out while you're filleting most of them. Now I'm using a seven and a half inch Rapala knife. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I, I do choke up on the blade and uh, hold it more like this instead of by the handle, get a little more leverage. But what you have here is you have a small lateral line. By cutting on the top side of the lateral line first, meaning the high side, the shoulder side, and then coming back and crossing the line and make another cut that way. Slow pressure down on the meat there as you go in about a five degree angle and just saw it out. There's the bone, there's the skin. I like to set them all up so I get a lot of fluid motion here and you're just working. 
always cutting on the high side of the lateral line, meaning the shoulder side first. Slight pressure at a five degree angle. Flight comes right off. Now you'll notice, and you won't and you won't notice this with guys using electric fillet blades. This is the shoulder meat, this is the tail meat, and this is what we call the flap. That's all the meat. Hope you had a great day. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.